It's a thrift shop try on. Today we're gonna do something a little different. Not that I have a lot of consistency in my try ons anyway. But today I have a bunch of stuff that I got at a thrift shop because every time it doesn't have to be $500 lingerie, you know? You don't have to, you don't have to buy the latest Honey Burdette to feel and look sexy. And I wanna show that by trying on some stuff I got at Buffalo Exchange here in Portland. All right, let's go. Now that's cute. Again, I love the, the neon color of it. It's not something I typically wear. You probably haven't seen me anything like this before, but this is very the like sort of thing I feel like you see girls wearing on like browsers. I don't know, just like all like oiled up and like big booty popping out. But yeah, it shows a lot of back. It is a little transparent. You can see the pattern in my undies through it. <laughs> it has a split in the side. It's real sexy. Yeah, it's really nice. It's a good find for the shop. Like I said, it's Fashion Nova. And I actually didn't know that until just now. But I think I will check out more of their clothes now. <laughs> if I can't find any more at Bubble Exchange, I will try getting them from their site. Okay, so that's the first piece. Very cute. Next up, let's see. Okay, this thing's kind of neat. It's like a dress, but not really, because it's like a bodysuit, but it's got this clear mesh, and then these are like like little, like they're actually little balls that are attached to it. <laughs> right. I bought it because, I bought it because I thought it would be a good horn fit. It's like, you know, shows enough, but it's still a dress, and it has a snap underneath, so the crotch opens up, easy access, nice little back, and adjustable straps. And I forgot to look where it's from. Okay, I checked. <laughs> it is also Fashion Nova. And now I'm definitely gonna check out that site. But it's cool that I found a couple pieces that I like at Buffalo Exchange and two of them happen to be from there. But yeah, I don't know what exactly I'll wear this in, but if you have suggestions, let me know. It will come up with something. Okay, we could stick with the bodysuit theme for now. I will switch into this. To remember how it works. I think it's just over the neck halter. Yeah. So I like the I love the like keyhole strappy waist side things. I mean usually horizontal lines aren't super good there, but it seems to kind of work. I don't know. Not super revealing on the back, but it does have a snap. So again, easy access. This is Forever 21. I remember to check this time. I've got a fair amount of stuff that I've gotten from there in the past that I've both shot in and just you know, daily wear. But for a bodysuit, it's holding me in pretty well down there. Don't feel like I'm popping out. Yeah, I should use this for something. Again, I don't know. I love bodysuits, but I have a hard time putting them in scenes sometimes. So I'll figure something out. All right, I'm gonna go back to tops. I'm gonna pop this one on next. This is my most recent acquisition. I could put it on over this. I'll have to put the these back on. So I haven't tried this. I didn't try this on at all in the store because I was with some others while I was there and I didn't want to take up their time trying it on. But it looks like there's a bit of a knot needs to be undone. Go. I just kind of just on this. Yeah. Targe. Yeah. It ties at the top. That's fine. That's, that, I can see that being real sexy with like little booty shorts or something. It's like nice and tight so I can flex in it. And it feels, it feels new. It doesn't look like it's been worn or frayed or anything. It's in great condition. That's what I love about Buffalo Exchange. I find it's like a lot more contemporary stuff and they actually have some sexy stuff. Unlike Salvation Army. Okay, all right. The last two pieces are these transparent ones. So I am gonna go get something to wear under them. And we're back. Okay, but these are not thrift. I forget where I got these, probably AliExpress. But I grabbed them because, did I put them inside out? Whatever. Why would the drawstring be on the inside? That's so weird. I wore them because they keep everything nice and contained. It was the right way already. And this is Power Mesh. I love Power Mesh, my favorite materials. Ooh, wow. On camera, that really pops. Way more than I expected. Kind of funny with the uh, drawstring, but like, can you believe I got this at a thrift shop? This came from a thrift shop. You can find cool stuff there. It's pretty cute. I need to use this for something. You can imagine how it would look without anything under it. But it also looks good with, you know, a really tiny bikini or something. All right, I didn't look at where this one's from. Forever 21 also, but it was eight bucks at Buffalo Exchange. I wonder what the original price was, I don't say on here. Probably like 30. And this one is also Forever 21 for 12.99, which is 
I don't know. This isn't really my color, but again, I like power mesh and I thought the pattern was cute and I thought I could probably find something to wear it with. Now, it has one of these strings where I think it could either go be tied in the front or the back, but back probably looks better. Ta-da! Again, super duper cute. And that's the kind of stuff you can get at the thrift shop. So if you see me wearing any of these in future scenes, you'll know. All right. That's it for my thrift shop try on. Thank you for watching. Please uh, leave a comment about what your favorite outfit was, what your favorite piece was, and don't forget to subscribe, give the video a like. All right, see you next time, babies.